guys, welcome back to my channel, Simone here. Today I'm going to be filming a try a chapter video where I'm going to be reading a chapter from the five most recently published books on my shelves. I don't tend to buy new books or brand new books so I don't have a lot of really brand new books. I have one from 2019 and four from 2018 and so like I said I'm going to read the first chapter and then I'm going to pick one that I will hopefully read very soon. Um, I might read more than one but I'm going to pick the one that I like the most and hopefully you like this video so let's get started. So the first book is actually a really exciting one and that is the first ever physical book that I've ever received from the publishers. A big thank you to Kelsey. I got this book um, like I said sent to me and it is a middle grade book that I am really excited about um, and that is Thomas Wildus and the Book of Sorrows by J.M. Bergen which was released in February 2019 and I could not be more excited for this to be the first book that I've ever received. Um, it's quite a big book, I think it's sort of, well it's 350 pages, it's not big but it feels quite like substantial and quite heavy. Um, I believe it's about a 13 year old boy whose dad died when he was six and um, lots of things happen and magic is involved and I'm really really excited to get to this one. So I'm going to read the first chapter off camera and then I will come back and let you know what I think. So I've just read the first chapter of Thomas Wilder's in the Book of Sorrows which was 15 pages long and I really enjoyed it and I'm really glad I did because you know when you get a book for free, which obviously I've never done before but this was the first one, and you really hope that you're going to like it just in case because you don't want to have to say bad things about it but actually I really enjoyed the first chapter, obviously I don't know how the rest of it will go. It basically follows a boy named Thomas and his best friend Enrique who are at school and they're messing around and they've got a really good friendship which I really like um, and then Thomas after school sees um, a man on the street and then the man disappears and he goes to a shop, like a bookshop and ask for some magic books and yeah it sounds really fascinating I have like Percy Jackson vibes actually from this so far so we'll see if that kind of carries on but it is for the same target audience so I suppose it would make sense but yeah very excited to read some more of this one because I feel like I feel like it's interesting. Next up is a book that I have on my Kindle that I was sent by NetGalley and Diversion Books and it is the book Accused the Unsolved Murder of Elizabeth Andes by Amber Hunt and Amanda Rossman. This is a, I believe, a transcript of um, a podcast that Amber Hunt and Amanda Rossman did talking about this case. So I'm just going to read the synopsis a minute. So it says, when Elizabeth Andes was found bound, stabbed and strangled in her Ohio apartment in 1978, police and prosecutors decided within hours it was an open and shut case. Within days, Bob Young, a 23-year-old football player who'd found his college sweetheart's lifeless body on their bedroom floor, was charged with her murder. To this day, police and prosecutors still say they had the right guy, even though two juries, one criminal and one civil, disagreed and Young walked away a free man. Best case went cold. Nearly four decades later, two Cincinnati reporters re-examined the murder and discovered that law enforcement ignored leads that might have uncovered who really killed Beth Andes. It wasn't that there weren't other people to look at. There were plenty, but no one bothered. Until now. So this sounds right up my street and this is the kind of thing I like to watch on TV as well. So I'm definitely going to hopefully really love this. So I'm going to give the first chapter a go. So I've read the first chapter, which was more the kind of... Um, introduction of this and it is from um, the podcast type thing so I think it definitely stands out in an interesting way. I didn't love the beginning but I do think it's because that it didn't really go into any information yet because obviously it's just an introduction so I feel like the more I read the probably the more I'll enjoy but I don't think this is the one I'm going to choose today. Next up is a thriller and we all know I love a thriller. This one is The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn and this basically I believe follows a woman who is um, agoraphobic and she hasn't left her home for 10 months and then she sees something out of her a window I believe and um, it's kind of a thriller about that. I don't know anything else about it. I'm going to give the first chapter a read and then I will tell you what I think. So I've read the first chapter which was only about four pages so not too much information obviously able to be given but I actually really enjoyed the kind of way it was written. So it basically follows this girl named Anna who as far as I can tell is looking um, at a house opposite and uh, she's kind of watching and she's got a camera and she's taking pictures. Uh, which is a little bit creepy. It sort of reminded me a little bit of the um, girl on the train where she sort of looks in the house as she goes past. Um, obviously it's very different but in terms of that sort of we're not really sure if it's an unreliable narrator or not there. I feel like I don't know whether, like, whether to believe her or not especially because she said she likes to drink in the morning and the evening 
Um, so again, I'm not sure. I feel like this is definitely going to be a book I enjoy and I'm really excited to read this. I hope that it's like really suspenseful and keeps me on the edge of my seat but yeah, very much like this one so far. So the next one is another one I have on my Kindle and that is I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara which I believe is about a woman who tries to figure out who the Golden State Killer is. Um, I don't think they were ever found. I think since this book came out the Golden State Killer was found and unfortunately Michelle McNamara died before it could but um, I am interested in this book a lot. Like I said, I really love true crime. It's one of my favourite things. So definitely into this and I'm excited to read it. So having read the introduction again, it's not actually by Michelle McNamara. McNamara. Um, Gillian Flynn wrote it because like I said, um, Michelle McNamara actually died um, before this book was um, published, I think. Um, and I really want to read this I think so far this is the winner for me because like I said true crime is a big thing here for me anyway and uh, the way that Gillian Flynn talks about Michelle McNamara she really sells her like she really talks about how determined this woman is and all the little tiny little details that she tried to find out and to figure out what was happening and I've heard that although in this introduction Gillian Flynn says the man is not found I know that after this book was published um, he was found and I believe that quite a lot of the like reason why was actually to do with this book so yeah very very much excited to read this one and I think so far this one's winning and then the last and final one of this um, video is NYPD Red 5 by James Patterson and Marshall Karp this is the fifth book in the NYPD Red series which follows um, the NYPD Red which is basically a section of the New York Police Department who deal with high profile and celebrity crimes basically and this one um I think it's to do with filmmakers, uh, explosions, I'm not entirely sure um, but I do really like this series in general and I really want to get to this one because like I said this is the last one that's out now um, and uh, this is five of five right now so I really want to catch up in case more come out because let's be honest James Patterson writes books all the time. <laughs> so let's get started with the first chapter. Wow, so I've read the first chapter of this, it basically um, is talking about a woman who is engaging in a sexual encounter with a man and they are trying to achieve sexual asphyxiation um, and then as she gets to the end shall we say he actually strangles her to death and this was pretty graphic I won't lie but um, I think it was done really well um, I know that sounds like a really weird thing to enjoy but I wouldn't say I enjoyed it but it was definitely um, interesting to read and I am intrigued now and wanting to continue on and find out what the case is going to be so I'm very much looking forward to this one and getting on to the next book in the series so there you have it guys those are the five books that I have read the first chapter of I think for me I would say four of the five books were successful. Um, I really liked Thomas Wilder's in the Book of Sorrows, The Woman in the Window, um, I'll Be Gone in the Dark and NYPD Red 5. Didn't much like The Accused one but again it might be one that gets better because I did just read like an introduction. I think for me, I don't know if I can really pick one, I think I'm probably just going to read all of these quite soon. But. I think my favourite one and the one that I'm more likely to read next is probably I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara so that hopefully will be one that I read in the next couple of months. Um, I'm not entirely sure when I'm going to get to them because I have a lot of books to read um, but yeah I am very much excited to read these ones and I think that it's, sometimes it's good to read newer releases um, at the time they come out or kind of around that time. But let me know which ones you would have picked if you've given any of these a go and if you liked them and what you thought of them and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let me know in the comments down below what you want me to do a trial chapter tag on next i will see you next time bye guys mm -hmm.